Right then, three, two, one, go. Oh, I just didn't move. <laughs> and there goes Nate. We're probably not going to see him. Hey guys, Jimmy here, and I just punched the wheel straight. Must be straight. And welcome back to another video. And you'll be glad if you're not a GT7 fan that this video isn't Gran Turismo 7. It's difficult. I still really like that game, despite some very odd issues with credits. But no, for this video, we go over to a set of courses because it is absolutely perfect for today's video idea. So I've driven all manner of stupid shit around the Nordschleife. I've driven literally the first car ever made. I've driven theoretical crazy F1 cars from the future in the X2010. I've even driven versions of my own car around there. So I'm pretty, you know, I've, I think I've pretty well explored the Nordschleife space of sim racing in AC. And I had an idea when I was introduced by mods by Will and Eve, yes! of all people. Name drop, name drop, name drop. Thank you, YouTube algorithm. Name drop, name drop. Uh, he was basically having trouble getting a mod working for AC. I helped him get it working. And that mod was the Peel P50, uh, otherwise known as that little Diddy car from Top Gear with no power and is terrifying. And yeah, probably wouldn't recommend actually driving one in real life. The car has five horsepower, is a two stroke, so you're going to hear some very interesting popping and banging. Mike. And in the description of the car in the mod, it says 0 to 60, yes, if dropped from a high place, which I think pretty much describes the speed of this thing. And I know that if I took it from the Nordschleife, it would take me a long time, and it would be funny because I'm slow, yada yada yada. But I thought, what if we raced it around the Nordschleife against something that isn't slow? Against an F1 car, for example. Now, obviously, an F1 car is a wee bit faster than a Peel B50, so we've got to give ourselves a disadvantage. So we're going to see if an F1 car can complete four laps in the time it takes a Peel to complete one. So of course you might have realised that I've mentioned that we're driving two cars today, and as much of an epic gamer as I am, I can't actually drive two cars at once. So I've gone and found a good friend of mine, Nate Lupson, to drive the F1 car. Nate, um, are you any good in an F1 car? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, it's... Like, I, it's been about two weeks-ish since I drove last on the wheel. Gran Turismo's been out, so I've been playing a lot of that. So, um, yeah, it's going to be tough. For those who don't know Nate, by the way, he's uh, been part of the DHR struggle bus for the last few years. We've driven together multiple times. Very quick driver, usually. But, uh, as you said, usually. A bit of a break uh, for Nate. A bit so. rusty, yeah. <laughs> So, I think Perfect it's, thing to jump right back into, right? <laughs> yeah, F1 of the Nordschleife. Kill I mean, me. <laughs> the thing is, for me, I'm so used to doing this ridiculous shit. I'm like, yeah, it's easy. I'm like, I sort of forget that maybe it isn't the easiest combination driving a high downforce car around the Nordschleife. But um, yeah, it should be fun and uh, hopefully pretty close. It sounds like a fucking steel drum band in here, man. Like, it, it's uh, there's a lot of noises going on, isn't so there? So you can tell right now the F1 car is just cowering in fear. I'm not seeing. Yeah, it I mean, it's, it, it's why I'm hi hiding. In. I've been I've been out here like <laughs> brazen, like come on, bring it on. And then this F1 car. It's because you know the pain that is coming. <laughs> Lots of waiting. Whereas I get to crap myself for uh, four laps straight potential. I should probably put my mirror on shouldn't I so the the speed in I, I'm gonna need a warning like <laughs> when you're coming I'll do, up to I'll fast do my me. best I've got the track map here yeah maybe we'll need to communicate a bit Jesus oh here he comes look at that all right majestic yeah I like how I could probably go faster letting the car idle in first than you can at all Oh look at that oh, for a start line! I've just gone to like the uh, the track cam, and <laughs> I'm taller than you as well. Like, somehow, <laughs> he tall but he also small. Right. Okay. So I'm thinking it's going to be four laps for me and one for you. Yeah. So basically, um, I have yeah. Nate's got to do four laps. I've got to do one lap in the same amount of time. We think that's going to be a similar sort of. Uh, similar period of time and this is the finish line here right okay you uh I'm gonna, can you hear me can you hear me red I, I, I can it's quite intimidating i'll be honest if i put oh, in first, five horsepower oh, no, God, I, put in, I, I just stalled <laughs> <laughs> right okay are you ready as ready as can be right then three two one go 
Oh, I just didn't move. <laughs> and there goes Nate. We're probably not going to see him for a while. And as he bins it down the bottom here. So I'm not sure where Nate is at this point. But just so Nate can know, I'm just now coming to the apex of the first corner. I, w I wish I knew the corner names to really let you know where I'm going. But it's... Uh, Are you at Flueplatz yet? Like... Not quite. I'll let you know when I get there. Okay, so we're coming through Hats and Back now. We've got this glorious downhill. This is the best part of the uh, the game for me. We only have three gears, though, which is um, not poggers. All oh, right, coming through flood parts now. Oh, my God. So that's the gap. So the thing is, Nate's got the biggest challenge here. Nate, Nate's got to be sending it for four laps to make it work. I can take a pretty much a nice casual uh, Sunday drive for the lovely uh, Eiffel Forest region here. I just hope that I don't tip over at any point. That's my biggest weakness, is myself from tipping over. There you go, nice and easy. So because this uh, car is sort of shaped the way it is, the sort of centre rear wheel, um, the force feedback is very odd. It feels like when you're changing the direction of the wheel, the weight and the the, the weight changes on that rear tyre. So it feels like you're sort of tripoding a bit. It feels like the force feedback's almost reversed, but not for now. Oh god, don't get on the curbs. You didn't tell me about the curbs. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, probably should have mentioned that. Also, I may have just leaped straight over the chicane section after Foxhole. Nice. Don't, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Look at that filthy F1 car cheating. It ca cannot contend with the legend that is the pill, so he has to cheat. You hate to see it. So I'm coming up now to the bridge before the footpaths, <laughs> which is yeah, still quite a long way to go. Luckily, not quite as slow as that. Um, that, what was that car? The, the, the motor wagon. Oh my god, that was... Oh, good, yeah, where well, you have to, like, reverse and drive up the hills. So I've got a solid 61 kilometers an hour. Um, now, Nate's actually driven a lap in this peel already. Where do I have to brake? Is it anywhere? Well, you you saw the clip, didn't you? So, so just there. Th 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 there's going to be some braking there, and then maybe nowhere else. What about into the carousel? You just send her in. Carousel's flat. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'll be honest, you're barely going 50k's by the time you get to it. I hope you know right now I'm doing 71 kilometers an hour, all right? I'm doing 275. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Where are you now on circuit? Uh, basically the carousel. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm at uh, Arenberg. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a lift there as the, uh, the weight transfers. Do you have a part of the tire? Oh, I had oversteer for a second there. Oh, oh. so did I. <laughs> Oh my god. It does not like the, this does not like curbs either, unsurprisingly. It's the ground effect style downforce. You touch a curb and it just wants to launch you. And you know how big some of these curbs are around here. They are chonky boys. Right, so we're up now just through the foxhole. Just trying to see the fucking battery in this thing. <laughs> Alright, is it flat through here? God, this sounds depressing. When do you shift down? Uh, like I said, about 45, 46. Oh, okay. Alright, don't have a hard time. I'm at For the, the first time. I, I'm coming up to Rebel Tree. Hello, oh. friendo. Making some good progress here, man. I know, you're doing quite well. If I'm supposed to do four laps, damn. I need to step up my game. Let me know when you're sort of getting towards Rebel Tree, because I'm now on my way to Miss Hit Miss. I'm not too far away from it. Oh, why did I break? It didn't like that. Yeah, it really doesn't. The weight transfer is pretty intense. <laughs> oh, God, get off the curb, Jimmy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, you haven't. No, I'm all right. I just had a terrifying moment. So how do I... Pro oh, you haven't done this bit properly yet, so I don't really know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you know not how, how not to do it, at least. So. Yeah, I'm going to slow this motherfucker down. The miss hit miss. Otherwise known as just hug that motherfucker like your favourite granny. All right, I'm down foxhole now. Right, okay, I'm just coming down to uh, the hairpin. Right, don't bin it. Oh my god, the <laughs> I still looked like an endo when I hit the brakes. I told you, man, it wants to do the stoppies. Right, okay, we're good. I mean, I mean you are like uh, nearly the whole car's weight in movable ballast, so oh, it's man. perfect. So something that All we've right, not really taken three. into account yet is that a lot of the start of this course is actually downhill. It's now all uphill from here, pretty much. So this is where I'm really going to struggle. I'm now coming down to uh, Adnau. This is this is nearly flat on this thing. It's disgusting. Oh my god! So you're probably going to get me very, very soon. I'm just going up that uphill right-hander now. Oh yeah. Right. So I'm going to stay to the right 
Okay, I'm going to stay on the right. Just check out that mirror. Any second now, there's going to be just a missile approaching. Make good progress, though. It's only getting lapped for the first time. There it goes. Whoa. Oh, it is gone. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm quite, see, that was coordinated. That was good. <laughs> about 200 kilometers, you say? About 250, 260 you were doing there on the way by? Yeah, yeah, right, about that. Yeah, that's what... 200 kilometers an hour difference is like 120 miles an hour, which is uh, substantial. A uh, hybrid situation this lap's not too good. I'm already out. Oh, shit. Also, I'm now being blinded by the Lord Shining Light. He favours the peel in this competition. Be careful you don't get sunburnt. You'll be in the light for a while, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have like one side of my face. It's yeah. completely red. Right, oh, I might have to use second gear. Oh, yeah, it's... The threat is looming. It's sad. It's got the sad two-stroke noises. Yeah, as I said before, Nate's got the, the much bigger challenge here. Like, all I have to do is literally sit here and be comic relief, while Nate is try-harding in an F1 car to try and, like, get this I, I wish you realised how perfectly timed that statement was, because I just spun. No! Where'd you spin? I, I, I perfectly spun it in a 360 loop and kept going, though. So we're good, we're good. Um, it, it was through... Oh, I don't know where. It's before YouTube Corner. You know the uh, sort of oh, yeah, the that weaving there. where you're supposed to use the curbs? Oh, yeah, don't use the curbs. But maybe not up. in this. Oh, second gear is singing, though. It really does. We are in full lawn mowing trim at the moment. Got any snacks? Come and see. I, I do have a dark chocolate lint here. Oh, perfect. Um, what's that? 60% cacao. I'm, I feel like in the um, wanting a drink situation, having dark chocolate is probably the worst thing I, I could possibly do. <laughs> so coming up to the bravery corner, I was very brave through there, not even a hint of a lift. All right, two laps done. And I'm about halfway through this lap. So actually now, it's starting to look like it might be a possibility for Nate. Why is third like a highway gear? Like this is not going to go on a highway. Can you imagine like a truck overtaking you and just not seeing you? And just running you over, like they're, like like running over a crisp packet. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> I'm just thinking of that bit from Final Destination with the logs off the back of the truck, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but with pill just, just wipe the whole car out. <laughs> Here we go, 50 k's. Okay, like that's not as eventful as I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like I said earlier on, you know, you expect it to be crazy because it's it's a really important corner, but then you're like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, I've made it. Oh, and now the speed goes up. Here we go. So the thing is, all that speed that I lost there was down to me slowing down that once to sort of account for Nate's little mini spin. I probably lost a lot more time than Nate did there um, in that because of the momentum you have to carry this thing. It takes so long to get back up to 50 kilometers an hour. 49. Come on. Talk. It's got a bit of talk, isn't it? Like, it's all right. Like I said, I was surprised at how long you spend in third. I had to take it. I had to take second gear. Push you. <laughs> I'm on the far section heading towards the carousel again. Okay. I'm not really sure how I'm going to get out of your way here. Um, ah, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Just stay on one side and hopefully I won't find you on the exit of a corner and just oh. send you to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> right, downhill. Here we go. The more speed I have, the safer I am on this crash. Rupperman, just avoiding the curb from terrified. Now up to that sort of off camber right hander afterwards. Oh, I see you on the map. There you are. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to try and stay right because I'm being blinded. I can't see anything. <laughs> this is the worst. Okay, I'm going to stay right. Where is he? He's still not there yet. Oh, I nearly, I nearly rolled. Is it flat down here? Okay, I'm trying to. I'm in the middle of a course. Come try not to roll. I just had another spin on the exact same bit of the track. <laughs> the Come tires on. are overheating. Oh, there he is. Oh, this is my apex, mate. Get fucked. Oh, I didn't matter. <laughs> so there he goes. So basically, it's one more time Nate's got to pass me. Um, so this now is the race to the line from here. Yeah. I'm going to step on it, really, because I think you're going to beat me at this rate. I don't, it's going to be close. The straight is going to be not good for me. So here we are then. The real competition has just started. Who will win? Thoroughbred. Formula One car. <laughs> or one mistake of nature. 
<laughs> so funny because this last section in any car is like one of the best bits of racetrack in the world. In this car, <laughs> I'm just fucking bored. It's just, just waiting. <laughs> I've noticed when you do get up to about 70 k's, you start trying to turn the car. It does start to act a little bit odd. Like, I, yeah, it's got like, yeah, there's not much more there in terms of grip. I don't know why. Like, I'm I'm, I'm holding like a cart. I'm <laughs> trying the minimum amount of like steering angle possible. No scrub. Meanwhile, I'm sweating like a pig. I'm That's gonna right. right. I'm going to try and take the second carousel flat. Let's go. Come on. Oh, the suspensions. It just hands it perfectly. Not even oh, a challenge. Was... Oh, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you spin again. I managed to prevent a spin by committing wall. So we're all good. Right, now I'm now coming round the last corner before the straight. Come on, Peel. It's all you, baby. Come on. I wonder what this thing's actual limit is down the straight, because the straight is downhill a tiny bit initially and uphill towards the end. So, like, what is it? What is the terminal velocity of a fucking cube? What did the description on the car say again? Oh, yes. Yeah, it will do 0 to 100 if dropped from a very high place. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm at 62 Ks, mate. Speed. Just got under, it's almost illegal, that. Under the gantry. Where are you on circuit? I uh, just went through the uphill right about the halfway point. Oh, man, okay. So now it's got about two minutes or so left of his lap. Two and a half minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm terminal velocity about 63 k's down the straight here. I think I've got a good chance, man. I think I've got uh, a... I didn't genuinely think you might have me. It's, it's going to be close, though. Come on. I believe... Oh, no. My biggest enemy. A hill. <laughs> Come on, little peel. Give me all that five horsepower. Oh, I was, I was just checking the recording. I went into the grass for good. Oh, no, but I slowed down. Come on. Bottom of speed. I still got a chance. I'm nearly at the bridge. You've got me going for that last section now. Yeah. I'm nearly at YouTube corner. Holy shit. This is going to be quite close. Come on. So underneath the bridge. Oh, it's quite far still. I'm, I'm realising the distance isn't... <laughs> Come on! Right, back up the uh, the uphill bit now. Let me know when you're on the straight. We'll do it. Oh, I don't know, mate. I'm coming up almost, I'm almost at the pit lane. Come on! Oh, I think you've done it. I'm dying at her now. Come on! Let's go by the pit entrance. Overtake on. <laughs> One more corner. Come on, Bill. F1 car got nothing on me, baby. Pill P50, champion of the fucking world. But we're going to keep going and just see how much longer Nate would have needed to catch me. Going through T1. I've got a good run in T1 now. Much better than my standing start T1. There he goes. Oh my God, the speed difference. Holy shit. Well, guys, if you woke up this morning and thought, I wonder who would win. <laughs> in a race between an F1 car and a Pill B50. Well, the F1 car, obviously. Nate completed that. You're on your fourth lap now, aren't you? So, like. Uh, that was my f four laps completed. See, so you've completed four laps. I completed one. And the difference yeah. is about, what would you say? Well, that is about a few seconds. 10, it 20 was, seconds. I, I blame myself for having a couple of spins and a good old bonk uh, once and foxhole. But yeah, I think it could be really close. So. Yeah, try it yourselves, man. It's it's pretty fun. <laughs> try the F1 car, then find someone else to drive the peel. So. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> F1 car is for the tryhards, mate. You don't see me driving that. But um, yeah, thank you so much, guys, uh, for watching. And I hope you enjoyed our, our fun little race between the peel P50 and a modern F1 car. Thank you so much to Nate for uh, for wheeling the F1 car at very short notice. So basically sort of went, <laughs> who can I trust to drive an F1 car? And I couldn't find anyone, so I asked Nate. <laughs> so, still, uh, still can't be trusted, <laughs> still, uh, Nate, do you have anything you want to shout out? Like, you're, you're over on Twitch at the moment? Yeah, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Nate Lopson. If you want to come check me out. I've been playing a lot of Grand Turismo 7 lately. So, uh Go and give Nate some love, and uh, yeah, so as thanks for taking part in this uh, little challenge here. And uh, uh, mod will be in the description below for both of these. If you want to give it uh, a go yourself with, with a friend or whatever. If you enjoyed the video at any point, do all the good stuff like, comment, subscribe. Uh, what else is there? Bell, 
uh, Patreon, uh, membership. Drink, drink water. Drink water, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, stay hydrated, all those things. And uh, I'll catch you next time. See ya.